Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video that I am super, super sad to be filming. I never thought I would film this video. I think I said that in my Monroe piercing removal video as well, but today I'm gonna to be talking all about how I re Ooh. Today I'm gonna to be talking all about how I removed my eyebrow piercing. Now I know a lot of you are probably like, Brie, no, why would you do that? And believe me, I'm thinking the exact same thing, but I did make the decision recently to completely and totally remove my eyebrow piercing. You know, no retainer, no more jewelry, it's, it's gone. Um, now I'm just gonna be kind of talking about in this video, you know, why I made the decision and just like the scarring and things like that. So as you guys know, I do work in a place where um, piercings are not allowed. Every time I go in for my shift, I have to take out all of my piercings on my face and my lobe piercings as well. I have to remove them, I'm not allowed to have them. It's just, it's just not allowed where I work, unfortunately, and I found myself putting in my eyebrow retainer more than I was able to wear my jewelry in it. Like the only time I could ever wear my eyebrow jewelry is if I was filming a video, which was maybe once a week. So I wasn't able to wear my jewelry full time like I wanted to and I just kept, you know, putting time away to put in a retainer so I wouldn't have to lose the piercing and it just got to a point where it was like why do I want why do I want this piece of plastic in my face? when the whole time I just want my jewelry in it. Like, it just didn't seem worth it to me because I just I just don't have time for it anymore. Um, I wasn't able to wear my jewelry as much as I wanted to, so, and it just didn't seem worth it to me. Like, I don't want to wear plastic in it 24 seven. I want to wear my jewelry or nothing. So I made the decision to just wear nothing in it and it has officially closed up. So when I made the decision to take it out, I that was maybe like two weeks ago and I remember I was like, that's it, I'm done, I'm leaving it out, and I went to work without anything in it for like a good eight hours, and when I came home from work, I was like, oh my gosh, no, no, I miss it, I miss it, I want it back, so I put my jewelry back in, and it was already pretty tough to push the jewelry back through, so I was like, okay, I'm going to keep the jewelry in for a few more days, see how I like it, and then I had a, a whole week of work coming up where I wouldn't be able to wear it, so again, I was like, okay. Oh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the jewelry out, and about the end of this week, if it's still open, then I'll keep it. So I took the jewelry out. I did not put my retainer in at all. Um, I just kind of put everything off to the side, and I worked the entire week, and at the end of the week, I tried putting in my jewelry, and sure enough, it closed. Um, if I had to take a guess, I would have to say that the piercing closed up within a matter of two days. So my piercings do tend to close up very, very quickly. Um, so yeah, at the end of the week when I couldn't fit the jewelry in anymore, I was I was actually really sad. It was really tough to see it go, but it's just with the way my life is right now, I just don't have time to keep up with the maintenance of, you know, cleaning the little plastic retainer, putting it in every day, um, taking it out, cleaning the plastic retainer again, putting in the jewelry, like, I just don't have time for that right now. I miss the days when I was able to wear my facial jewelry literally every day, all day, 24-7. Like, those were the days, but, you know, now that I have a job in the real world, um, you know, I just can't do those things anymore. So I did make the decision to permanently take it out. You can probably still see a little bit of scarring there. Um, I will try to put the jewelry in today just so you guys can kind of see, like, if it's closed for sure. Before I do that, I just wanna say none of my other piercings are coming out. I promise you, I am making a dedicated promise to you guys and to myself. I'm not taking out any of my piercings. I promise there won't be another depressing video like this again on my channel. I hate filming these, but I know you guys would be asking a ton of questions if you didn't see it. So I'm gonna zoom you in up on my eyebrow and show you the scarring and all that good stuff. Okay, so here is what my eyebrow looks like without any of the jewelry in it. As you can see, here is the bottom hole of the piercing, and then the top hole is right above my eyebrow there. So um, there is probably going to be sufficient scarring, you know, just like with my Monroe piercing down here. Um, there's gonna be the same amount up here. Okay, I had to fix the lighting because I was looking really orange for some reason, so that looks a little better. But yeah, here's the jewelry that I used to have in it. This is just an eight millimeter, 16 gauge bar with just the little, I think there may be two millimeter balls, but this is what I used to wear in my piercing all the time. So just for, just for one last time, I'm gonna try to, you know, poke it through and see how it goes. Oh yeah, there's nothing there. Yep, it won't even go. It won't even go into the bottom hole. It's definitely closed. Yep, 
that's about as far in as I can get the piercing and yeah it's in there and it's definitely closed I can't even get it like all the way up through and it's so weird to me like oh my gosh like not having it there Oh, rest in peace, eyebrow piercing. So yeah, just kind of a spur of, moment, spur of the moment decision. I wasn't planning on taking it out for a very long time. I really liked my eyebrow piercing, but that's life. That's just how it is. You know, things happen. But here is basically what my new face looks like now um, without the Monroe piercing and without the eyebrow piercing. So just a lot of nose action going on and then my tongue ring. That's basically the only thing I have in my face. Do I have any plans for any facial piercings anytime soon? No, not at all. I'm just going to kind of rock with what I have for right now. Um, just kind of take a break and see... You know, see what I want, see what I want to work with. So I just thought I would make a video to kind of update you guys on it. Um, just a few little pointers. After I did take it out, I didn't clean it at all just because I've had it pierced for, uh, let's see, how long have I had it pierced? About three years, because I think I got it done in 2013, I want to say. So yeah, I had it for about three years. I didn't have to clean it at all. It was totally healed. Um, I have tons of videos. I have a whole playlist on my eyebrow piercing if you guys are interested. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. Make sure you leave your comments, all that good stuff. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!